From time to time, you hear people in Trinidad and Tobago saying they don't like talking about this or they don't like talking about that. In particular, you hear people in Trinidad and Tobago saying, I don't like to talk about race. Or, to a lesser extent, you hear people saying, I don't like to talk about religion. And to an even lesser extent, you hear people saying, I don't like to talk about politics. When I really think about this, many people who say that they don't like to talk about race, or they don't like to talk about religion, or they don't like to talk about politics, do have views on race, religion, and politics. And furthermore, many people who say that they don't like to talk about race, religion, or politics are actively involved in race, religion, and politics and are conducting and perpetrating actions that speak much louder than words. So it's not just speaking about these issues, but it's about your actual involvement in them. So, for example, there may be an employment officer or a loans officer in a bank. He may not talk about race, but every single client that comes to see him he sections them out by race and only gives preferential benefits or preference in general to one race. Wh which is worse? The person who talks about it or the person who doesn't say anything about it, but they do it. So let us please, I'm asking us to be sensible about this. Because many times it's not just the talk. But it's the action, it's the deed, it's the motive behind these things that are done. So when people say, for example, in particular race, they say, they say, I don't like to talk about race. See, it's not just what you talk about. You have sensible, constructive, relevant conversation about some things. And you have ignorant, empty, baseless conversations about other things. Rather than saying I will prefer to talk about some things and not talk about other things, I would like to talk about everything. But I prefer to talk about every single issue from a sensible, logical, reasonable, rational, constructive point of view, as opposed to an insane, ignorant, backward, baseless, retarded point of view. So, if I am discussing the issue of race, I will attempt to do so in a constructive way, in a way that is beneficial for a harmonious, multicultural, multi-ethnic population. If we're talking about religion, then I will seek to do so in a constructive way, or politics, whatever the case may be. But if one is going to say, well, I'm not going to talk about any of these things, and you refuse to give a sensible input into them, then you're really not contributing towards the larger pool of consciousness and the larger pool of ideas. So it's not what you talk about, it is how you discuss these matters. So to say I don't talk about race, but you're practicing racism, or to say I don't talk about religion, but you're engaging in religious persecution, or to say you don't talk about politics, but you're engaging in political corruption, well then you are more part of the problem than part of the solution, because we are able to acquire solutions to these problems by discussing them. And not just discussing them in any way, but discussing them in a sensible, reasonable, rational manner. So I'm, I am advocating that it is not necessarily the most constructive thing to do to turn a blind eye to reality, because you cannot pretend that reality does not exist. It does exist, and it will continue to exist, and if it is a problem, the problem will continue to get worse if we turn a blind eye to it. So to say that you don't talk about race or you don't talk about politics or you don't talk about religion is to put your head underneath a rock because we have available to us sufficient information and truths that we could dialogue with and discuss with one another to come up with solutions to all of these problems than rather to try to fool ourselves to pretend that they don't exist.